Yep, time to bleed. Wakey, wakey. All right. Stop. This is my moment. All right, listen up here. Listen up here now, let's listen up now. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Friday training. Okay, we are just gonna do one training today. But yeah, we'll we'll talk about why, you know, whatever. Once we back out of the garage here, okay, we gotta back out of the garage here. We gotta set the tone. Woo! I kissed a girl in the just cherry chaps, yeah. All right, now that is a set in stone tone. What is with the lights on? I said this is my moment. All right, we are off to the gym for one of one beautiful training. So training, training, one of one. It's gonna be a great fucking training, okay? Now we might just do like two events, might just do three, might just do four, might, uh, we'll, just, we'll, we'll just see, okay? But yeah, the gym uh, is also, oh yeah, fuck. There's no training tomorrow for uh, Saturday training, so uh, yeah. That we're, uh, our gym's having a comp, you know, just like a small comp. I won't be at this competition. It's just for the girls, you know, just a like provincial competition. And then the gym today is going to be like closing at five o'clock because they have to start setting up. So I didn't want to have to like rush morning training, make sure I'm fucking right there at eight and then rush second training to make sure like I'm done by five. So I figured I would just go in the morning, right about this time, whatever, and then not feel rushed. Just kind of just do my stuff, you know? It would be a good like pace to do that, but I pretty much did technically like do that yesterday. But when I'm doing it, I know that at any point I can just like slow it down. So like second training, I can just take it slow. Like I would feel rushed if I had to do that today. So yeah, that's why we did that. That's why it's just one training. It's probably just a shorter video. Fucking yesterday's video. Oh, it took me so long to edit. I just kept talking to the camera. Just a fucking professional yapper yesterday. Holy. I gave myself so much to edit because I just kept talking. Like it was 10 minutes of vault because I just wanted to talk so much, which was, it was good. Okay, it's good. Because Vault, I discussed more about my technique, which I haven't done in a while. Because I used to do that after every single turn when I was first trying to figure it out. Like, fucking anyone that was here from day one that has watched through, like, every single video. You remember when I used to do Vault onto that, on the other Vault? And after every turn, I'd be like, okay, hey, I have to try more of this. I have to do more of this. I did too much of this. I got to try this. Now it got to the point where, like, I do the turn. I can quickly watch it back and be like, okay, hey, I just need to quickly, like, I just need to do this. And I don't even say it to the camera. But, yeah, figured I'd say it yesterday. So then it's kind of, like, documented of what my tactic is now because it's working pretty damn well. I do say so myself. Uh, here's my tip of the day for you. We're getting close to the gym, so I'll try and make it quick. Oh, this person's going super slow. You guys are lucky, okay. Let's take advantage of this. Tip of the day, how to be productive towards your goals, okay? So you've probably heard this from many other people before, how they say, you know, write down your goals, write down what you plan on doing and this and that. It's a green light. The light's green, the light's green, the light's green. Oh my gosh. She came to a complete stop. <laughs> See, you guys gotta just, when you're in bad traffic, just laugh at it. It's, that was hilarious. It's really bright out. I'm assuming she's old from the way she was driving and couldn't really see the light, but like, it was very green. As I was saying, you've probably heard people say, you know, set your goals, write them, write them down. Like, I wanna be rich. I wanna have a big house. Okay, that's great. Those are easy to look at. I mean, whatever. That's not enough. You gotta be, like, I tried this once and it made my training so much better. Be so fucking annoyingly specific with your goal. Like, you want to be rich? How how rich? Exact down to the exact dollar. Well, question: How do I figure that out? Well, if you can't even figure out how much money you want to make in your life, how are you gonna make all this money if you don't even know how much you want to make? Okay. Right? So find out what cars do you want to buy. What are your dream vehicles? Doesn't matter. You can have a million of them. I would suggest you know picking out just the main ones. Like what do what do I really want to have for my dream vehicles? And then what's your dream house? Do you, do you have a lake house that you want to have? Do you have a dream boat? You don't need to find out the electrical bills and the fucking utilities and all that, but find out how much the house costs. Find out how much those vehicles cost. Those are just basic examples. Maybe there's more little things that you want to buy. But you have to find out the price of all of them. Write down the name of each vehicle. Where this house is located. What country is it in? What state is it in? What street is it fucking on? How much money will it cost to own all these things? Down to the exact dollar. Because then you have something to actually look at. Some real fucking goals to look at. Instead of, 
I want a big house. Now, now it sounds dumb, hey, when you say it like that. Like for me, gymnastics, it was like, oh, the Olympics. But it's like, how will I get to the Olympics? Oh, yeah, we're gonna, I want, I'll, I'll need to train twice a day. I need to do these routines, or the routines I'll need to do. They're gonna look like this. And I like, I close my eyes, I picture it. I'm like, they're gonna feel like this. This is how they're gonna feel in third person, in first person. From watching in the stands, this is what the routine is gonna look like. I've pictured it all fucking flawlessly. And then I've pictured it, what if I mess up this skill? Well, I can fix it by doing this. And then this routine will do, and then this will fix that. And it's just, you have to know everything down to the last detail about your goal. You have to be able to picture it perfectly in your mind before you start saying, yeah, I want to achieve this. Because I hate hearing people that say like, Oh, well, I want I'm I'm going to be a millionaire one day, you know, I want to be a millionaire. With, like, okay, like, how? Oh, well, you know, I'm just going to do it. You know, that's why I'm not telling you guys right now, like, I'm going to be a millionaire. Like, you know, that's my goal, but I'm more focused on this, the fucking gym at the moment. Solely focused on it, then I'll solely focus on money. Yeah, like, not, you get what I'm saying, okay? But yeah, all right, there's your, there's your little tip of the day. Whatever your goals you have, it doesn't have to be money, okay? It doesn't have to be a house. You don't have to have the same goals as someone else. Maybe it's building a physique a certain summer body, okay? Write down exactly how you're gonna achieve it and exactly how it's going to look when you've achieved it. And another thing, create a whole new person of yourself, okay? Not, but don't write down, I'm gonna be super smart, I'm gonna be super rich. Write down what this person looks like. This person looks smart, this person wakes up at three, this person goes to bed at 9 p.m., this person reads every day, this person works out every day. Create this person that you wanna become. Okay, there you go. There's your fucking tips. Trust me, you do this shit, it'll help you so much, okay? So much. Because now that you've written out every detail, it's like, wow. I feel like I can, it feels more real to go out and achieve that goal. But yeah, that's it. Red zone, dead zone, kill zone, fucking war zone. Let's get to work, shall we? Uh, I got a new shirt. That's sick. Fuck yeah. All right, we're gonna get started right away here with high bar. I, did, I stretched and stuff, you know, whatever. But we're gonna start with high bar, because I was about to, I don't know, when I don't have a plan, like first training, second training, where I do all my stuff, if I just come in like how I am today just to do my events, and then I start with stretching, I always get sidetracked, and then I end up just sitting there and stretching for way too long. And it's like, oh, I don't really wanna start on vault, I don't really wanna start on P-bars. High bar is an easy start, so we're just gonna start on high bar. Maybe routine, or maybe just skills, but just a, you know, kind of just a quick high bar session, probably just like warm me up. So yeah, start with high bar. So I'm sure it's still fucking sick. I saw it on Teen Titans, like the Netflix series one. Not Teen Titans, but Titans. Superboy, where's the shirt? Oh, it's so cool. All right, let's start. We, so, we could have we could have got it. Are we fucking kidding? There's no way. I forgot to press record. I just hit Coleman and caught it. It was so good. Yeah, we fucking ah. Oh, okay. That is the first time you guys, you've guys, you guys have ever missed one of my turns. That wasn't a warm-up turn. Got Coleman to pirouette or blind change. Two path Gaylord touched. Could have caught. Didn't catch. Fuck. Fuck. It was so good. Oh my gosh. That's so weird, I've never missed a clip, like ever. I usually just always have it recording. Oh, I'm so upset now, it was so nice. All right, just a Coleman, we can do it again. I just, I know. I'm not gonna catch another one today just because it's gonna be, it's gonna be one of those things where it's like, oh, I wasn't recording your first one? Oh, it's not gonna get any of them now. Man, I can't do a fucking thing there. Almost ate shit. Fuck, just my hands on the gate where I hit here. 
on my wrist and it just went kind of like that. I haven't done that like in a long, usually I always like get a hand or something on to at least like push away if it's bad, but not if I can just grappled on and hung out. Just not a high bar day, I guess. Weird, usually it's always a high bar day. We're not gonna blame it on the shirt because I don't want to ruin this shirt and say the shirt's bad luck and then I never wear it again. So I'm just gonna say it's not a high bar day. Okay, the goal, catch one of each skill and do one of each in bar skill and catch another Coleman actually on video this time, all right? Yes! Thank God. Caught them all. Caught everything. There we go. And Superman fears me. All right, all right, okay now, all right. Fucking, I took a pile of shit that I was handed with all my first five high bar turns, and I turned them into diamonds. You see all these turns I've taken after all the bullshit that went down? That's right, you wanna know why? Because I kept a positive attitude the whole time. Obviously I was joking and saying like, oh, I'm pissed off, I'm pissed off, but like, I was saying it pretty sarcastically. I wasn't actually mad, mad, mad. But uh, we're gonna do one more turn of a, one or two quads, and I'm gonna try a double-double, okay? Just for fun, I wanna see uh, if, well, I've created like a new dismount. You know, my dismount kind of used to go far, but I would still land good. And now I've brought it up really nice. I want to see if I can go up really nice while doing a double double, or if I'll end up just doing my old stupid habit. But yeah, one or two quads. First one's like good, then we'll go dismount. If the first one's bad, we'll do a second quads, and then we'll do the double double. And I'll probably be done high bar. Because I had to take my tape off, and I don't want to re tape up because I sweated the tape off. It lost all stickiness, so the grip moves around. If you're ever wondering why sometimes I take the tape off halfway through my high bar session, that's why. The stickiness of it, I just sweat it off. Okay, let's do it. All right, those quads suck, but that dismount's not bad. We're gonna give it one more try. One quads, and then a double-double, okay? It's fucking absolutely deadly. Oh, that was so good! Oh, I'm better than Superman. All right, the quads are a little bit better, still not the greatest. I've definitely done way better than that. Double double though, that second double double. And I did there, oh fuck yeah, that was really good, that was super good. Damn, fucking good shit. Might have to start, you know, perfecting that a little bit. That one seems harder to stick. When I do double out full, it's like nine times out of 10, it's a stick. Double double, I feel like it would take a long time before I start sticking that nine times out of 10. Be able to start working it more, you know? Because working a bigger skill makes the step down much easier. Like vault, me working two and a half, double twist feels like a breeze now. But what else is an example? Working straight body planche on rings makes straddle planche super easy. Putting the ankle weights on for the ring strength like I did yesterday makes no ankle weights easy. So yeah. Let's we'll start working double double a little bit more since it's good. Because my worry was my double layout full is now good. And if I do double double layout, I'll start kicking here and bring back old habits. Clearly that's not the case, so deadly. Okay, one more turn of quads. Ah, fuck, that was so bad. Have to, have to try one more, because I was just, I look like an idiot. Do you see me trip on the mat there? Oh, God, I look dumb. Let me try one more. Done. This is going absolutely nowhere. Everything else is perfect. Cost can suck. All right, that's it for high bar. High bar was good. Cost, not good. High bar was good. Stoop full, it's worth five tenths. Cost is worth three. Stoop full seems to be way more consistent 
and easier to do and less focus than Quast. So dumb. So dumb. So okay, the Quast is coming. Seems to just have more off days. The soup full seems to have more good days now. Call my releases, everything was good. We're gonna go to Vault now. I wanted to start with Vault, but I know if I started with Vault, it wouldn't have been that good. So that's why we did high bar first to warm up. I'm sweating. I'm actually sweating a lot, but I don't want to take a shirt off. I really, I like this shirt. Uh, so we're gonna, like I'm dripping under here. I want to try and do a two and a half. And you know how you guys are usually like over here looking at the vault? I'm gonna put you guys over here looking at the vault. So I'm flying into you guys. I want to do like a back two and a half and like land facing the camera, you know? We're gonna have it at the normal like setup for like all my warm ups and shit. Then when I try two and a half, we'll switch to that angle just for like an Instagram video. Alright, see so yeah, let's uh, get ready for vault. Alright, since we have the music blasting right there, we're not gonna do much talking, so I don't have much editing. It's really hard to edit and see the points where I was talking to the camera when the music's blasting. So I'm just gonna tell you what I'm doing my vaults. If I have anything to say, I'm gonna pick up the camera and bring it over there. But we're just gonna try and go through this really quick, like I told you, and then set the camera up right there. Okay? So you're gonna get that sweet view. Alright. Two hand springs, one full. And one double twist, two and a half, whatever, okay? Hands ring number one. Hands ring number two. All right, lay out full number one. Mm, fuck, just trying a new running tech. Why does it look like I've just got a lab explosion? Okay. I was trying a new running technique. Didn't work. We're just gonna go back to the old one. I was trying to find a new one that would make the run more consistent with staying flat, but whatever. The mat level's low, so uh, we're just gonna go for double twist. Really, I don't. It's fine. Okay, double twist number one. Yeah. What is it? It's called Mind Rape. It's actually pretty mellow. Well, he only had three other batches. Uh, Gorilla Panic. Uh, All right, time for two and a half. I'm gonna set up the camera over there now. All right, this angle should be good for an Instagram video. Okay, two and a half. Number one. Oh, fuck. I gotta, I gotta finish it. I can't open up. I'm not that good yet. We're gonna try again. All right, two and a half to us. Number two. Oh, so close. All right, you just watch that turn back, and I, I see what the problem is and I'm gonna fix it, hopefully, this turn. Uh, if not, we'll probably be done vault, or maybe we'll give her one more try. But yeah, I'm kinda just like, I've never recorded from this angle, which is good. I should record from it more often. It was good to see this. But instead of me going like, up like that, I kinda, my hands are here, and my feet are here, and then I'm popping like that, and it twists it sideways, so then I'm landing sideways, cause it went off the table a little bit sideways. So then it finished sideways, so I have to start straight or to finish straight. Because I should be landing it, I'm pretty relatively like upright when I'm landing, but I'm just like tilted, so I'm falling. Because the scale's not good enough yet for me to like open up sideways and save it, so I have to do it really good. So we're gonna, we're gonna try and fix it right now. Two and a half twist number three. Ah, me! I keep opening up like an idiot. I fucking, ah, we're gonna do another. Uh, two and a half number four. Uh, you know, the first two, I was trying to do it for the Instagram video, you know, to be cool. Then after that, the, like the next two, last two I just did, I didn't really care. Today, I was just trying to over-rotate. I'm not even fucking trying to land it. I'm trying to land on my face. I'm aiming to miss my feet and land on my face. That's why I'm getting pissed, because I'm landing on my back. And so, uh, I get that it can't always be like Tuesday, but like, this is shit. Fuck. Because the mat level, super low. Super low. Like, it should be really, I was thinking it was going to be super easy, because the mat level is not very high. It's below comp height. It should be, this should be easy. We're going to try again. Okay, we're going to just keep trying. All right, two and a half, number five. I think it's number five. I'm going to fix the mat. I'm going to put the blue mat here, actually, now. So it's more... Because when I'm landing, the mat's just fully in. So I have no other option but then to fall. So I have to either land perfect or fall. So we're going to switch the mat. All right, it's a little bit higher, but it's more sturdy. So I can actually fucking land. Two and a half, number five. Yes! Oh, that was so good. Fuck yeah. Get out of my kitchen, bitch. There we go, landed it. The reason I was getting so mad is because uh, the four that I did before, I could feel it and it f they all felt really good, but the other four, I like opened up. 
because I got all like cocky with the landing and then I fucking fell. That time I just like really, like I overthought the shit of it, like aiming for my fucking neck. Like not two and a half to my feet, not two and a half to my stomach, two and a half and another half a flip to my head. Like I wanted, I wanted to land the fucking thing and I did. So that's good. I'm a little exhausted now. Uh, as you know, we usually just do a handspring, a full, a double twist and a two and a half, like four turns. But we've attempted five two and a halves, made one and we've done a double twist and a full and the handspring so I'm a bit tired so we're gonna just uh, go to the next event here and we might only do like one or two more events and then be done we'll see okay let's we'll keep going all right ladies and gentlemen it's time for p-bars we're not doing hang today we're not doing routines today we're just gonna do my sports stuff and some dismounts all right that's about it because my hands are super sore so I don't want to do any more hang the routines I did yesterday Tuesday and I think Monday were all super good so p -bars is good to go just gonna work some sports stuff and then we're good a couple sets Uh, yeah, let's make this quick. It's my, it's my shoulder to do the swing. It's easier from the routine because I just go cast, then just do one quick swing. But like swinging into, uh, deadly. Oh yeah, by the way, the goal, we're just gonna try and go Hamna, pirouette, stutz one, DM, DM and a quarter. Still pipe. One or two sets of that. If I make a good homna though, we're done. Once I make one good homna, we're done doing homnas. Ah! All right, maybe if I present, it'll just be a good luck. Superman. Came on. So dumb, so dumb. I'm gonna try one more and then I might just be done with this event. Oh. All right, fuck, calm now, we're not doing any more. It's usually good. I messed up in the routine yesterday, but like, it's usually good. It's hurting the shit out of my shoulder, so we're done. And when it's hurting my shoulder, that's the reason it's bad, is because it's hurting my shoulder, so I, I can't fucking finish the swing. I'm like, ow, it hurts, so I'm just a bitch about it. We'll do my support stuff. I'm just gonna go DM it off, DM it a quarter, dismount, that's it. One or two sets of that. P-Bars was super good this whole week. I really don't need to be on it right now. We're done, P-Bars. This is going absolutely nowhere. I've done 10 turns and I've made two skills. P-Bars is super good this whole week. I really, I shouldn't have even went to it to begin with. We're done, P-Bars, for the day. Oh, so dumb. Let's do ring strength now. All right, and that is fucking it for training, I guess. Uh, yeah, I said I was gonna do ring strength. Uh, I ended up spending the last hour recording Noah, Tristan, Nikki, and Lukey with my gimbal, you know, to get some cool videos for uh, the Tyso page. So yeah, I ended up doing that instead, which is fine. My shoulders hurt. We did good ring strength this week. It's just more, good reason to lay off it, because now we have Saturday and Sunday off, okay? So yeah, that's, let's just put the camera right here. All right, yeah, it's the end of video. High bar was good. Vault, really good. The last turn was really good. The other turns pissed me off. Uh, p bar is so bad, okay? Every p bar session this week was really good other than today's for some reason. I figure there's no point in forcing a bunch of shitty turns. So yeah, that's it. Good training, yep. Uh, if you watched full video, enjoyed it, glad to hear that. If you watched full video, call, let's comment the word grizzly. Cause I got my uh, grizzly classic backpack here. 
H-E-R-I-Z-Z-L-Y or Z-Z-L-Y. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye, I love you.